Theron Woods. Yeah, this looks a lot different. I mean, it's it's much darker and much scarier. Okay. What do you, okay, maybe that's not how you use them. Hmm, so these are the weapons you use in your world. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty helpful if you ask me. It's, it's a lot done. <laughs> you really think this thing can slay the creatures of Twilight? Maybe? Well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Alright, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help, though, I need you to gather some things for me. Uh, what does that mean? Look, I can't tell you all the details now, but it'll be easy. Trust me. Do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spirit that has had its light stolen. Where in the world could it be? <laughs> okay. Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find out that light. Uh, alright. Come on, snap to it! So, that is actually really interesting. The sound effects within Faron Woods, not necessarily Faron Woods, but within the Twilight, uh, and the music in general is so much more eerie and different than the game's music. Like, it seems like I'm playing a different game entirely with how, you know, 180, the music just switches. But apparently a lot of the, uh, the sound effects is supposed to be like the Spirit of Light and Agony or something, and it makes it much more interesting and much more creepy. But yeah, here we are in the Twilight with Midna, and the Sword and Shield won't do much good for us. I mean, she can't really use it, uh, and... You know, we can't use it because we're in our wolf state, so we're going to have to fight with uh, our uh, claws and teeth and whatnot. But we can actually use something else. And I believe here is where we're going to learn uh, a new combat with Wolf Link. Because, yeah, Wolf Link is pretty boring to fight with until you get this new ability here, uh, which it makes it a lot more fun. And I don't know, I just like fighting as Wolf Link when this happens. So I'm really excited for the exclusive temple they added within the game by uh, using the amiibo. So, yeah, it's all done with Wolf Link. But yeah, oh, we're pinned again. <sighs> Who do you think they're dealing with? No need to take these little pests on one at a time, right? You could take them all at once. So, you can handle it by yourself, can't you? Good luck! And she leaves. Yeah, so it's not gonna work, obviously, because, I mean, there's a lot of them, and I gotta attack quickly. So yeah, just go ahead and face off uh, these uh, giant Twilight Beasts. And once you take down two, if one's still up, they can resurrect their two fallen enemies. Yeah, so you have to take them all at once, as Midna said. But how am I supposed to do that? If I just failed. Yeah, it's not working. It's weird how the game wants you to go into this trial and error state, but yeah, it doesn't work. So, what's the hold up? If you just leave the last one alive, it's just going to use the shriek to bring the others back. Listen, let me help you out here. Just move like I tell you. Just hold the B button, this and that. Okay, so yeah, what you need to do, and here we are, we're low, uh, essentially is we need to, uh, target all of them at the same time. I did it wrong again, but it's fine because I just wanted to show you guys what it does. But yeah, it's like this cool instant transmission type of attack where Link just dashes in between all of his foes. And uh, by doing so, you're not giving any time for the last one up to, uh, you know, resurrect his fallen enemies. Or not his enemies, we're the enemy, but to resurrect his fallen allies to fight his enemy. But yeah, so... We did that, and now it's just so much more fun to, to fight off enemies because I love charging it up like that with uh, Midna's weird-looking hand slash hair. And yeah, just going in for a bunch of attacks. But yeah, we're in the Twilight here for a reason. Not to have fun. I mean, I guess to have fun. I do actually really like this portion. But here is the spirit, uh, Faron. That's, yeah, located in Faron Woods. This is the spirit that Ordania was talking about. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, please be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dust cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become mere spirits. 
It is a place where the dark ones and the evil creatures dwell. I, I am a spirit of light. Blue-eyed beast, look for my light. Retrieve the light stolen by the dark beast and keep it in this vessel. Okay, and now we got a vessel of light. This here is something we need to fill up with the tears of light, and this works like a gimmick within the game that we're gonna have to do multiple times. It's actually really cool. I mean, I personally like this. Um, a lot of people who dislike this game, I know, I notice that they tend to always bring up the tears of light, the tears of light, this and that, and it's like, it's, I don't know, at least for me, it's not that much of an issue, because they are fairly short, especially in this game, because they actually shorten the amount of tears of light within the game, so it makes it a lot easier, but yeah, they're dark insects you have to kill, and uh, here we are given our uh, row that we have to fill up, so, um, yeah, it is time to locate all of the tiers. Now, you can easily just have your map out and look for them. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, just look for the white dots. And once you find some, go ahead and turn on your senses. And now we just got to kill them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the cool way of killing them. Oh, ah, oh, come on. I couldn't actually kill this one as well like that. But whatever. Just a quick hit. And just like that, we can pick up a tier. And it fills us up. All right. And here we have some Twilight Deku Babas that I'm going to ignore because... Uh, I don't really want to mess with them now. And, oh, come on. He went to the other side. How am I supposed to get there? Well, yeah, you want to sense, but, and then you're going to find a little spot that you can dig into. But I'm not going to do that yet. Let's go ahead and see what's here. Okay, yeah. The whole Koro, Koro Shack is over here. And I want to head over to Koro Shack because inside Koro's little house is actually uh, a... Um, a tear of light. So we're going to have to head inside and find it. Oh, okay. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it's so nice having the 360 camera control, but I'm used to the camera being automatic. So, uh, yeah, I tend to hesitate a lot. But okay, I did not mean to talk to Midna here. I meant to use my senses and then check out Koro. So, what's with these bugs? Those aren't normal. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Chew, get out of here. I would actually be doing the same thing. If giant electrical bugs were in my house, I mean, I wouldn't even be in the house. I would just dip, dude. Oh, come on. I mean, give me a break. You can't just wander around people's houses like that. You stay away, bugs. Get off. Okay. So, yeah, they can't see us, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Because, you know, he's in that whole spirit world of sorts. But they're gone. So, what? They just died? Oh, boy. I have no idea what's going on around here. Sorry, Koro. Uh, I can't really tell you. Actually, can I listen to him some more? Yeah, he's just going to keep saying the same thing. Okay. Um, anyways, now let's go ahead and leave. But yeah, so we helped out Koro with his, you know, uh, issue. We worked as a... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I was going to say... Um, I already forgot. You know what? <laughs> it's taken too long for me to think of what I want to say that the joke isn't going to be funny at all. <laughs> that's, the one, that's my biggest issue, man. I, I can never, like you know, think of the punchline. I like just space out. When I have the punchline in mind, like I played it in my head, but then I can't say it. So it's just like, yeah, the joke's ruined completely. All right, um, there he is. I'm gonna kill you, just like that, and give me the other piece. All right, now into the dank, dark cave. Oh God, it is so dark that I didn't even know where I was going. I'm assuming it's because of my TV. Uh, I'm sure on uh, YouTube, at least when watching it, it should be much brighter because, um, at least looking at my computer while seeing the video currently being recorded, it looks a whole lot brighter. But yeah, in general, in the twilight, this place tends to be pretty bright because there's this weird, like, um, render distance that the game has where it summons this really bright orange fog from far away. As you can see, we're kind of like chasing it, and it really brightens up areas like this. I mean, it's interesting, but at the same time, it's, uh,. It's weird. Like, it gives this really weird feeling to the Twilight Realm. Like, I can't help. I mean, I, I guess it feels really Twilight-esque in a sense, you know? <laughs> yeah, because it is the Twilight, and I'm, I'm so freaking smart, aren't I? I'm not. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, what are we supposed to do? As you can tell, we're out of luck. <laughs> this stinking weird uh, pink gas that, or not pink, but purple gas. If you head inside of it, I believe you'll get hurt, or we'll link just... He'll pass out immediately. Oh my god. That is not good. So we gotta we gotta stay away from that. 
But what are we supposed to do? He, I knew it. Why, are, why do you laugh at that? That's messed up. From what it looks like, I don't think we were going to be going through here too easily. So, what now? The game doesn't even tell you, but if you walk over here, you'll find a ledge. And guess what? Yeah, Minden will notice it. There! Let's get across over there. Okay. So, yeah, we don't really have to maneuver too much within the woods here. We can easily avoid a lot of it by just jumping from one area to another. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump just like that. Woohoo! I believe there isn't much more to do here. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get through this area as soon as possible so we can collect the uh, the things. I, oh my god! You know what I just realized? I just remembered something. I completely forgot uh, one of the bugs of light in the beginning. Actually, did I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, no, I'm being dumb. There's one here though. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna avoid this area. Good thing I looked at the map and paid attention because yeah. You can find them. They're not hard to find as long as you look at the map. But I wasn't doing that at all. I was just, like, continuing on. I got too antsy in the pantsy, you know? So, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead. Did I actually skip one on accident? It wouldn't surprise me if I did. I think I actually did, like, an idiot because I wasn't paying attention. That's kind of awkward if that's the case because I'm going to have to maneuver through all of this again. All right, let's get going. Oh, God. All right, we're good. Got to do this again, but you got to make sure you kind of wait out the log here. And then the last couple steps of the jump all the way down, and we've made it. But there are more of these guys. Okay, um, I did not mean to uh, talk to Minda again. See, every time I accidentally talk to Minda when I mean to do something else. All right, he's right here. You just got to go ahead and dig, dig it out, dig it out. Okay, and now we just need to kill him. But I believe what we're going to have to do now is uh, maybe backtrack. Yeah, we will. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the beginning once I grab this guy. Uh, because uh, I completely forgot about one. Luckily, I believe Midna will allow you yeah, to jump all the way back just like this. I'm pretty sure this is a shortcut straight back. Yeah, it is. All right, now where's the last guy? He's right over here. Well, not the last one out of them, but the last one in here. Uh, did I, what the heck? Where'd he go? What? Oh, he's, okay. Hi. Hello. Eh, wait, no, don't hit me like that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop speaking to Midna. It's going to take me forever to get used to these controls. All right, let's just kill it the way it should be, where you jump on it with your face. <laughs> and good thing it replenishes hearts. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and just make it back to... Uh, the end of uh, this whole purple gas walkway that we have to like kind of maneuver around by jumping from spot to spot so yeah and there we go all right we're done now we can continue on and uh, i guess continue following the path to the forest temple because yeah at the end of this path is where uh, the final couple tiers of light lie um, and oh god, we gotta do another one of these battles. Okay, luckily there are only, oh no, there are three. Alright, let's just quickly get rid of them, and just like that, wow, that was so awesome. Yeah, man, I, I, I don't know, I just really like Wolf Link's combat in this game. Only when you're using Midna, so I guess Midna slash Wolf Link's combat in the game. What, what the, okay. Uh, for some reason there's just a bridge laying here, and I don't... I understand. Yeah, it's actually cool. Um, this will make sense really soon later on within the game. But for now, just remember that there's a bridge here. You should remember that. A random bridge has been placed right here. Doesn't make too much sense, but uh, it will soon. All right, I wonder if the parrot still lies here. Okay, I guess not. Where is he? Where'd he go? Can I have some, po can I have some, some drinks? Can I have a little Kool-Aid? Can I have a little... Uh, what would this be? Um, oil? I don't know. For some reason, the consistent. I but it, wow, it is. I was like, wow. For some reason, the color and like the consistency looks like it would be oil. <laughs> but that's what it is. Literally, lantern oil. I was thinking of like olive oil when looking at it, though. Anywho, we have made it in. <gasps> oh, that little monkey that was with Tallow. That, according to Tallow, is actually a pretty nice gal. So, uh, I guess we should help out this monkey by killing off the remaining little bugs. All right, come here. And we did it. Yay! We have collected all of them. What do you say, monkey? Are you happy? Someone, someone help me? Yeah. 
Boy, lucky for me, ever since the boss went funny in the head, there's been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the forest for some reason. The whole forest is weird now. What's happening? I don't know, but uh, hopefully we'll figure out what's going on, monkey. Anyways, we have done it. And with that, we can restore the spirit within Pharaon. Here we go, the vessel of light is full of tears, and the light has returned to this area. Oh my god, it's bright again! Yay! We've done it. Aw, but it's so nice here in the twilight. What's so great about the world of light anyway? Eee! <laughs> See you later! My name is Pharaon. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. Oh, brave you! In the land covered in twilight, where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the power of the Chosen One rests within you. And that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. Oh my god! I'm so hot! The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Link. You are the hero chosen by the gods. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. This world weeps beneath a mint of shadows. And there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. Well, well, you're the chosen hero and all that? Huh, so that's why you turned into a beast? What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what's happening for all eternity, right? <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple, waiting for you to rescue them. 
Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. Hehe, <laughs> see you later. Okay. So, yeah, we are Mr. Important Hero. And it is awesome. I am now back to my normal self in the green garb. Look at this. The tunic. The hero of time. Okay, I'm not the hero of time, but I am the hero chosen. Um, destined to be the hero of, I guess, Twilight, you know, because I'm going to save them from the Twilight. But yeah, this is so cool. So, um, yeah, now we are using the sword and shield that we stole from Ordon. And, uh, conveniently, you know, you know, Link can use it perfectly now that he's back into his normal form. And yeah, so uh, Ferran told us about who we are and why we were chosen and why we transformed into a beast. And that is because we are the blue-eyed warrior, the blue-eyed uh, beast. Um... <laughs> And yeah, it's, it's actually really interesting, because I never noticed that Link's eyes were blue until this game. Like, I couldn't tell if they were green and, or blue, but then again, that's me with, like, anyone who has colored eyes. For some reason, I, like, just confuse the color of their eyes, and I don't know why, but yeah, I do that. Um, but yeah, so Link is the blue-eyed hero who transforms into a beast, and I don't know, I just think it's a really cool, like, plot on how that works, how he turns into the wolf, and that's why he was chosen, because he went into the twilight as that. But I'm going to stop wasting time and walking around. Let me go ahead and talk to Koro here, because the gate is actually closed off. Uh, I'm sure he closed it off because, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, not going too well out there. There are monsters all around the temple, so we have to shut it off, and I guess he's going to give it to us. So yeah, thanks for the small key. I don't care anymore. Let's just get on with it, because... Uh, yeah, never mind. I do not want to buy a bottle. Actually, I highly, highly suggest not to worry about your current lamp's oil because you're going to be disappointed with what's to happen with it. But yeah, go ahead and unlock the store here and now we can just continue on uh, into this dank dark cave. But I believe it's still going to be well lit from when we first lit it. Yeah, there we go. So I can just leave it. Um, I like the setting already. Like, I don't want to have my uh, lantern out anyways. Okay, whoops, wrong item. But yeah, this here, you know, it's too bright. It's just too bright. I like it like this, you know? Nice and dark and scary. And I'm just on the edge of my seat running up. Uh, but there is light every here and there. And yeah, I just can't shake off the whole uh, Dark Souls vibe to it. I know I mentioned that a lot within... Uh, this game or I just every time I play Zelda but you know I can't help but shake off the similarity in a sense but yeah okay so even when this area is not inhabited by the Twilight it's still taken over so what are we supposed to do if you take out your lamp around here actually I'm assuming the game wanted you to have your lamp inside the cave so when you walk out this cutscene triggers and that is yeah this monkey she you know, according to Talo, she's nice. Yeah, she's telling us to follow her. I'm assuming it's a she. I can't actually tell, to be honest, because the flower. So, hey, what's with this monkey's problem? You idiot, while you're staring into dr <laughs> into dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Really? I, I'm aware. I'm aware. But yeah, so the monkey here is going to take your lantern and create this, uh, this cool... Uh, well, she's not really creating, if anything. She's just getting rid of the uh, smoke that's around us. So, yeah, it's going to be easier. So now we can make it through because we can't do those super high jumps uh, as a wolf or as a human because we are not a wolf no longer. So, yeah, we're just going to have to rely on this monkey. And this is kind of slow because, yeah, you have to patiently wait for the monkey to sit and twirl the lamp for a while to get rid of the uh, smoke and then we take a couple few steps and it's gonna do it again and so on and so forth um but let's see are there any enemies that there are you want to make sure you kill him because the monkey is gonna spaz out if it finds an enemy as well it does not want to find any <laughs> so yeah this is just a really slow pace area within uh, the uh, game but um I mean, I guess it's kind of fun. I wonder if what happens if I do get caught, like if I adventure too fast um, and Link ends up passing out. I don't want to risk it because I don't want to start from the beginning if that's what happens. <laughs> so I'm just going to play it safe and wait it out. And okay, we're almost there. I doubt that would happen. There's no way the game would force you through all of this again. Um, but yeah, okay, so we did it. We're just a couple more steps. Come on, man. Oh, you have to stand right by him. And he has to walk by the freaking Deku Baba. Really? That's where you happen to stop. Nice. Dude, we're like a couple steps away. Can you, uh, can you speed up the process? You know, let me pick up this. Alright. Uh, 
Oh, come on, that would've been so cool if I like, chucked it right into his face. All right, we did it, but wait for him to come out. Don't leave yet, because he does have your lamp, or your lantern, so you wanna make sure uh, you know the monkey gives it to you before it leaves. Okay, there we go, and it's empty. So yeah, that's why I said not to fill up your lantern before uh, doing this, because even if it was completely full, it would be empty, and yeah, if it literally had one, just one speck of oil in it to keep it on, that's fine. Somehow the monkey would somehow use that last drop of oil throughout the whole thing and it would last. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, obviously because that's how the game is programmed, but you get what I mean. Okay, there we go. Can I? Oh, I forgot. I can't actually do that yet. I was going to try to finish him off with a, you know, one of my favorite moves within the game, but we can't actually do that. Uh, okay, well, maybe we're going to be able to do it now because yeah. Okay, you guys did not hear that. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, that happened. I apologize. <laughs> well, I am so professional. Okay, but yeah, so up ahead is this gold wolf. It doesn't make too much sense, but you want to approach it. And don't worry, we're not going to fight this thing. It looks like it wants to fight us, but no. Oh, God, it's going to bite off my head. No, okay, <laughs> right before it actually jumps towards Link's head to bite it off. You are teleported into this world. It's completely white. It's like the hyperbolic time chamber if you played, uh, or not played, but if you watched Dragon Ball Z. And then Hyrule Castle is right behind it. And here is this warrior. He looks a lot like a Stalfos, you know, just some warrior with a shield and sword. Pay attention to his shield and sword. They look so cool, actually. But yeah, we want to fight this guy, all right? Ugh. Ow! Wow, what was that for? A shield wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Okay, you may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. What? Okay, who are you? You must use your courage to seek power and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule of the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secret I hold. So yeah, this guy here is actually going to teach us. He's going to be our mentor, uh, sort of. He's going to teach us a lot of really, really helpful sword tricks that the hero back then once performed. Because yeah, he knows all of these uh, special attacks that the hero of legend way back once performed. You wanna know why? And I don't know if this is like spoiling it because the game never actually like straight up tells you this, but this is actually the hero of time. Uh, and for those who don't know, yeah, Zelda works in like a timeline and uh, Ocarina of Time slash Majora's Mask is right before this game. Not right before like, uh, a couple years before, but like many years, bef many years before the game. Um, uh, but either way, it works to where, like chronologically, this hero was supposed to be Link back in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and now he's here, finding the new hero, wanting to help him out, teaching him the finishing blow, just like that. You've been stabbed, myself from the past. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it's not really Link's self, because he's technically, like, reincarnated as the hero, but you get what I mean. So, hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. And just like that, we're going to use one of the coolest attacks. So, yeah, you learn it pretty early on within the game. Thing is, you can't use this ending blow immediately when a... Uh, foe is knocked down. It has to be literally at the end of their HP and there are still six hidden skills for you to learn and we're gonna learn it from this hero uh, but yeah so th this guy here is actually known as the hero shade. He's the shade of the previous hero. Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero. The one whose spirit is that of a sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you Search for the statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. Okay. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. So yeah, that line 
uh, that he just said is, you know, pretty well known. I believe he says it a lot throughout the game, and it's pretty cool how he uses that phrase a lot. It's something you want to go by, because yeah, Link does have the courage, which will give him all the power he needs to overcome what evil faces his path. So yeah, now it is time to make our way to the forest temple, because Minda wants us to head there, because according to her, I mean, there could be a... Uh, Potential, um, I was going to finish this guy by the way, but the potential, uh, you know, kidnap of kids could be lying in there. So we want to go ahead and rescue the Organian kids. Let's go ahead and, oh, come on. That was so disappointing. Um, what's really cool is, especially when using a finishing blow and finishing off an enemy, uh, you do some really cool, sick moves with Link, um, that kind of finish it off. But sadly, I couldn't perform that. Let's see if I can perform it on this guy. So yeah, we killed him, and there we go. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I would perform that, like, Link would do that. It's right after you kill the enemy, you got to make sure you quickly hold A to put back your sword in. And Link will go ahead and, like, kind of twirl his sword around and, like, stick it back into the scabbard all cool-like. And I don't know why I'm, like, slurring my words here, but yeah. Every time that happens, I always say another one bites the dust. I don't know why I do that, but I, I just do, and it's like... Pretty funny uh, to me, you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so there we go. We have uh, we have filled up our lantern so we can open up the way to uh, the forest temple. So just like that, it's, uh, it's burnt. So yeah, all right, I guess we're going to be taking on the forest temple in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. I'll see you all then. Bye.